All right, let's take a look at question 12. In question 12, we are being assessed on how to calculate the percentage of a whole. Okay. Question 12 reads, Jenna took a survey of her senior class to see whether they preferred pizzas or burgers. The results are summarized in the table below. Okay, so we have the table right here. We have the rows are represented by the gender male or female, and then the columns represents the, the food type they prefer, pizza or burgers. Question, of the people who preferred burgers, approximately what percentage were female? Okay, all right, so before we get started with this uh, problem, let's go over what the formula for calculating the percentage of a whole is. All right, so formula for percentage of whole. Okay, so the percentage of a whole is given by the formula part divided by whole multiplied by 100. Okay, so this 100 component basically converts it to percent. All right, so what's the situation here? What's the whole and what's the part? Um, let's go ahead and identify what those components are so we can solve the problem. So uh, we're looking for the percentage of female who preferred burgers. So which one is the part and which one is the whole? If you look at burgers as a whole, those who preferred burgers are composed of two genders, okay? It's either male or female. So the whole is um, basically the total number of people that preferred burgers. All right, T, so let's go ahead and write that down. The whole component of the formula is the total number of people, total number of people, I'm gonna write it as PPL, okay? Total number of people um, that prefer burgers. Okay, so this is a combined um, value, so it's going to be 42 for male plus 26 for female, giving us a total of 68. So that's our whole. Alrighty? Now, what's the parts? We're looking for the percentage that were female. So this piece right here, the female numerical figure represents the part. Okay, so 26 out of the whole represents a fraction of females that preferred burgers. So let's uh, indicate what our part is. In this problem, the part is given by the number of females that uh, preferred, preferred burgers. Okay, so what, what is that value? It's 26, all right? So this is our part, and um, 68 is basically our whole. All right, so it looks like we have everything that we need to solve our problem. Uh, we just need one unknown, so our unknown is the whole, percentage of whole, okay? So let's write down our statement, the percentage of women or say women or females percentage of females not women. percentage of females who prefer burgers now using the formula is going to be part which is 26 divided by whole was whole 68 multiplied by 100 and that should give us our desired result okay so let's go ahead and fire up our calculators all right we're going to compute this so it's going to be 26 divided by 68 multiplied by 100 so it's 38.2352 so we're rounding it to one decimal place so it's going to be approximately 38.2 percent this 38.2 percent represents the percentage of females who preferred burgers okay answer to 
question 12 is option number two and this is how you calculate the percentage of a whole given a tabular representation thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation i really appreciate it let us know what you think if you found the contents of this um tutorial uh, helpful in your preparation for um the upcoming regions exam let us know what you found easy to understand and what was complicated just post your your comments in the comment section below if you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the regents exam do give us a thumbs up your positive feedback is very valuable to us and, and do share with your friends so that they can also uh, benefit from from this review uh, material do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this review series if you would like to gain access to the transcripts of um, this video uh, do visit our website at mathgotserve.com under new york regents exam thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day goodbye